the donkey of the day. That's pretty funny. Where's Charlemagne the devil? Possibly. <laughs> The Breakfast Club. Yes, donkey today for Thursday, February eighth goes to the Breakfast Nubs. Or should I say Breakfast Nub, which would just be me? Okay, singular, singular sounds yes. better. Mm-hmm. Charlemagne the God. Jeff told me I should do this because uh, Monique is from Baltimore. Absolutely, and that's her aunt, right? Absolutely. Yes, and I'm a sweet baby. Yes, and Envy, <laughs> Envy don't have anything with, it to do with this. Jess Larris has nothing to do with this because she just got here Monday. Okay, together us three are the Breakfast Club, but I am the Breakfast Nub, all right? That's what Monique called us on uh, Club Shay Shay yesterday. Well, called me on Club Shay Shay yesterday. When she was reminiscing over the time, she received Donkey today. Let's listen to, uh, to her on Club Shay Shay. We were able to do the special, and we appreciated them saying, listen, how can we work this out? Now, you know what happens with that? People were having call-ins when I said, this is not right. I was donkey of the day. Remember that? Mm-hmm. I was donkey of the day. The breakfast nubs called me the donkey <laughs> of the day. That's what they said. And they had a whole call in about how I was donkey of the day. But you didn't do the same thing when you found out we settled. Now all of a sudden, don't nobody know what a settlement is. It was really, really quick. We just won't throw it away. So with that Netflix special, it was just, it was just like, no, guys, I gotta, I gotta stand up. Now, if you remember uh, Monique back in the day, like 2018, called for a boycott of Netflix saying they lowballed her. Monique said in an Instagram video that Netflix offered her a half a million dollars for a comedy special. And she pointed out Amy Schumer was offered 11 million. Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock, 20 million. I gave her donkey of the day for that because it was in my opinion that Monique, uh, you know, wasn't on the level of Dave, Amy and Chris. And she came on Breakfast Club and said this. And what happens is when you're basing off of what you're assuming, and then you give me a title of donkey of the day. Is your mother still alive? Yes, ma'am. And you're from what city in South Carolina? Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Monk's Corner. And if I was to call your mother or your grandmother, could they tell me stories of inequality that they had to deal with? Absolutely. So would your mother be a donkey? No. Would your grandmother be a donkey? No. I need you to explain how you gave me the title because you're not explaining it. You're going off of what I assume. But because you're on that microphone, and when we open up these microphones, we know just how powerful our voices can be, don't we, Angela? Yes, we do. And we know that what we say can become law, correct, Lenar? Absolutely. So when we do that, we must then explain it to our community because we know how poisonous it can be when we put things out, but we can't back it up. We just say it. She's right. Netflix ultimately ended up taking back their offer. And then in 2019, Monique sued Netflix for failing to negotiate in good faith. The federal judge in the case sided with Monique. And in 2022, the lawsuit was settled out of court. Dropping the clues bombs for Monique, okay? Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. I've said this before, and I've said it a few times on this radio. When it comes to that point, Monique was right. I should have minded my black-owned business, mm-hmm. okay? And she's right when she speaks on the power of the microphone because people from Netflix were definitely reaching out to me behind the scenes. And they tried to explain why Monique didn't get the money that Amy, Dave, and Chris got. Doesn't matter what the conversation consisted of. Just know, as I just said, Monique sued them and they settled. So there clearly was some validity to the injustice that she spoke of. Monique, you were right. Okay, I've said that before on this radio and I'll say it again. So you hear me. I had no business speaking on your business. Okay, there's absolutely a pay discrepancy for black women. Black women are typically paid only 67 cents for every dollar paid to white men. And the wage gap actually widens to 65 cents on the dollar for black women who hold doctorate degrees compared to white men with the same education. Okay, not to mention all the proof is in the pudding. When you see a company as big as Netflix with all the money Netflix has, they could have dragged this out. Okay, they settled with Monique. Okay, and... Still put out a Monique comedy special, all right? We've heard Taraji come out and complain about the pay discrepancy in Hollywood. Look, we can have a million conversations as to why that is, what that is. The moral of the story is, there's too many black women out here with the same story. Okay, Monique, God bless you, sister. And if you have never heard me say this before, or if I've never said it because I was born in 1978 and my memory is not what it used to be, I apologize for being wrong. Okay, Say, I, I, say it again. Man, shut up. No, seriously, and he can't I am. Could you, you need to go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Say it again. Could y'all stop? Stop Say clearly. a moment. That's crazy. All right? Say I clearly. apologize, Monique, for giving you donkey of the day because once again, regardless of how I felt about the situation with you and Netflix, I had no business in your business and broadcasting your business and it was Envy's idea to open the phone lines for people to comment on your business. It wasn't mine, okay? But mm. I truly, you gonna, now were you, were you gonna apologize? I apologize, Monique. Okay. And, and I think you should apologize to her husband as well. 
What he got to do with this? Because it was both of them. Both of them was doing this, and both of them felt disrespected. That's her manager. You he wasn't apologize. here. He was here. He was outside. You should apologize. He's to always as around. Well. That's, That's the thing. He's always here. He was. On, he, he, called? Oh, he called in. Yeah, apologize to the husband too. Well, apologize to her husband. I apologize mm-hmm. to her husband, Sydney. Sydney, right? That's his name. Sydney. Yes. I truly, truly, truly pray this apology is received by you, Monique, and I hope you heal because I feel like when I hear somebody talking about something for a long period of time, that means they have been holding on to it and it's bothering them in some way. And as a therapist once told me, if you don't want your peace disturbed, don't disturb the peace of others. I clearly disturbed your peace. I heard Donkey of the Day uh, mentioned in the intro to your Netflix special. I heard you talk about Donkey of the Day on Club Shay Shay. Monique, I apologize. I want peace. I want us to heal whatever this is. I want that for everybody you mentioned in the Club Shay Shay interview. I truly pray for peace and healing for us all. Monique, I want that for you. I want that for me because I love us for real. Mm. Please give Charlemagne the God, AKA the breakfast, the breakfast snub, the biggest hee-haw. That's good. You're doing what's right, sitting over there looking like a wannabe ass Bokeem Woodbine. I just knew you had something to say. Yeah. I just knew it. I'm going to keep on saying you look like Mm -hmm. DJ Paul Nub. That's what you look like. (laughs) And his look a little better. I think. Yeah. (sighs) Let me light my damn... Put my light right here. Yeah. Light that sage. Let me get get one of those. Mm. It's in my bag. Fresh kneecap head. Let's open... (laughs) Look good. Let's open the phone line. Oh, now man. you want to open up the phone lines. <laughs> well, it was your idea to open up the phone lines for something negative before. I just said just open okay. up the phone lines. That's positive. No, 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 that's all you under the box. No. <laughs> See, he no, get locked up. No. Envy, come out the bushes. <laughs> Envy, that's Envy right there. You hey, got there right. Us. Listen, but that is what happened, though. We just opened the phone lines and we asked people what they thought. Opinion mm-hmm. So right. it's the same thing now. Let's open up the phone lines okay. and ask people what they thought. Okay. okay? Right. About Charlemagne, the breakfast snub. All right. And the Monique situation now. It's five years later. Mm-hmm. Right? It's That's right. Six years later, actually. 800 585 1051. Let's open up the phone lines. Yes. Let's have a conversation. Yes. Well, Charlemagne. 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 <laughs> Charlemagne. I am not yours. Just apologize. <laughs> I don't know what the hell you got going on in your head. Charlemagne. But I am not yours. Charlemagne just apologized. Charlemagne boy. Woodbine. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard Woodbine. <laughs> he just apologized to Monique and Big Daddy and Sydney. So let's what? open up the phone lines. <laughs> And yeah. have a conversation. <laughs> yeah, Big Daddy. <laughs> that never happened. You should have said, I apologize to Big Mo and Big Daddy. That's what you should have said. <laughs> nothing serious up here. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey of the Day is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to MichaelTheBull.com. That's MichaelTheBull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Wake that ass up. Uh, in the morning. The Breakfast Club.